नंबर नाइन फ्रॉम हेयर टू हेयर वन टर्म फ्रॉम हेयर टू हेयर सेकेंड टर्म हाउ वी सेपरेट वी सेपरेट द टर्म्स विद द साइंस सो इन बिटवीन दीज टू देर इज वन प्लस साइंस सो दिस इज सेपरेट दिस इज सेपरेट देन देर इज अ माइनस साइंस सो दिस इज सेपरेट दिस इज वन टर्म दिस इज सिंगल टर्म राइटिंग द फर्स्ट टर्म ट्वेंटी एक्स नाउ ट्वेंटी कैन बी रिटर्न एज टू इंटू टू इंटू फाइव मल्टीप्लाइड बाई एक्स एंड दिस टू ए प्लस बी माइनस सी हैज अ पावर थ्री सो आई एम गोइंग टू राइट द होल ब्रैकेट वन टाइम मल्टीप्लाई टू टाइम मल्टीप्लाई थ्री टाइम इफ यू वॉन्ट यू कैन स्किप दिस मल्टीप्लीकेशन साइन ऑल्सो सेकेंड फिफ्टीन एक्स स्क्वायर द सेम ब्रैकेट बट द पावर इज टू फिफ्टीन कैन बी रिटर्न एज थ्री मल्टीप्लाई फाइव एंड एक्स स्क्वायर इज एक्स मल्टीप्लाई एक्स दिस इज अ मल्टीप्लीकेशन साइन दिस इज एक्स सो मल्टीप्लाईकेशन साइन आई एम पुटिंग लाइक दिस एंड एक्स आई एम राइटिंग लाइक दिस सो प्लीज मेक श्योर द डिफरेंस इज क्वाइट विजिबल multiply by the power was 2 so 2a plus b minus c will be written two times if the sign of multiplication can be omitted also because when there are two brackets in between there is no sign that is always considered as a multiplication sign third term 5x3 2a plus b minus c and there is no power here so 5 multiply x is 3 one time two time three time and 2a plus b minus c only one time now let's check the numbers first 5 5 5 circle it x x x circle it you can circle them straight also it hardly matters now bracket 2a plus b minus c 2a plus b minus c and 2a plus b minus c so you can circle this also now if you see there is 2a plus b minus c here there is 2a plus minus c here but there is 2a like 2a it's not there in the third term so please do not take you have to take only that number which is common in all three now let's see whatever we have circled Let's write it down. Five x and this whole bracket of two a plus b minus c. And now I'm going to start with a square bracket. I generally prefer square bracket. From the first term, we have two into two. That gives you four. And this two a plus b minus c is given two times. So I'm putting it in the bracket only because it has a power two. If there was no power, I would have directly multiplied. But there is a power two, so let that be in the same way. In the second, we have three and 2a plus b minus c one time so 3 and there is this x also sorry if you want you can underline also whatever is left no you can underline also so that you don't miss any term so that you don't miss any term so that's 3x bracket 2a plus b minus c and minus from the last we have x and x so that becomes x square bracket close that's the answer now as i told you in the previous one you have to check and solve but this is the power 2 so we will not solve it if there is no power then the outer number will be multiplied with the inner values and then all values will be opened and they'll be solved together moving on to the next question number 10 now one bracket and second bracket without a sign so from here to here is single term plus another bracket another bracket again there is no sign so from here to here is another term so now what we do this i am doing directly because there is nothing uh, uh, visible which is common like we don't have terms values outside so you can see in the first 2a minus 3b and in the second 2a minus 3b it's quite visible that what is common so directly what i am going to do 2a minus 3b i am going to take it in the bracket then i'm going to start with another bracket in which whatever is left will be written together so what is left from the first 2x plus 3y 2x plus 3y and this plus sign and from the second 3x minus 4y 3x minus 4y bracket closed now here you can see we have x and x terms we have y and y terms so we'll be solving them this outer value remains as it is 2x plus 3x both are positives add them 5x Plus three y and minus four y. One positive, one negative. We always subtract. So four minus three is one, and one y. We uh, one y or only y. Both are same. So whenever there is one as the numerical coefficient, we don't write it. So we simply write it as y. And sign is of the greater number here. The bigger number is four, so it has minus sign. So we'll put it minus. Moreover, whenever you are subtracting from a smaller, you are subtracting a bigger number. You always put minus sign in your answer. Bracket closed, and that's your answer because it cannot be further solved. Coming to question number eleven, of uh, this is one term minus second term plus and the third term. Write down, split it. Now x y can be written as x into y, and this bracket is written as it is. 4x square y is 4 is written as 2 into 2 x square x twice y one time and this bracket has a power 2 so the whole bracket I am going to write two times next 
एट एक्स वाई स्क्वायर ब्रैकेट पावर टू एट इज रिटर्न एज टू इंटू टू इंटू टू इंटू एक्स एंड वाई हैज़ अ पावर टू इंटू वाई इंटू वाई एंड दिस ब्रैकेट हैज़ अ पावर थ्री आई एम सॉरी दिस इज पावर थ्री सो वन टाइम सेकेंड टाइम एंड थर्ड टाइम नो लेट्स वॉट इज कॉमन एक्स 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 सर्कलिंग टूगेदर और सेपरेटली वाई 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 एक्स प्लस थ्री वाई द होल ब्रैकेट एक्स प्लस थ्री वाई द होल ब्रैकेट एक्स प्लस थ्री वाई द होल ब्रैकेट नॉ दिस नॉ वॉट एवर इज कॉमन वी फर्स्ट राइट दैट एक्स वाई एक्स प्लस थ्री वाई विल बी टेकन इन द ब्रैकेट एंड नाउ आई एम टू बिगिन विद द ब्रैकेट नाउ फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट टर्म इफ यू सी दिस इज टेकन कॉमन दिस इज टेकन कॉमन दिस इज टेकन कॉमन विच मीन्स नथिंग लेफ्ट सो इफ यू रिमेंबर आई टोल यू वन पॉइंट दैट वेन यू हैव टेकन कॉमन एंड देर इज नथिंग लेफ्ट we always write 1 sign of the question minus next second term 2 and 2 gives you 4 1x and x plus 3y only one time so let it be in the bracket plus 2 into 2 into 2 that gives you 8 and like i as i told you you can also uh, underline what is left so that will become easy for you to uh, find it out 2 2 2, 2. this is why and now this is x plus 3y twice so that means x plus 3y to the power 2 now as again there are powers we will not solve it we leave it as the answer so beta first exercise finishes here from the first exercise the question that i have done you have to do them in the copy as well as the questions i have not done that means first question second part second question first part third question both parts fourth question first part Fifth question, both the parts. Seventh question, first part. Eighth question, second part. Ninth question, first part. And question eleven and question thirteen. These all are your homework. Please finish your uh, notes. Complete your notes side by side. Thank you.